What up guys and girls and ladies and Whovians and all the rest of the people out there. Once again, thank you for taking the time to pop into the Bad Wolf's channel. Otherwise here known as James C. Lovett, but when it's just us, it's the Bad Wolf. All right, but don't forget to check in on the Bad Wolf Media channel because uh, we got some new videos coming that way real soon like. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. We're almost at 10,000. Um, as I stated before in some other videos, if for some reason you guys see someone out there using any of these videos and materials inappropriately, feel free to report them on behalf of the Bad Wolf um, uh, because they are promoting us being something that we are not, and that is hate. Hate, 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 hate. All right. Um, that being said, let's get going. So, this is going to be about converting your savings bond into or using smart exchange. Now what is that? Savings bonds. Now we all know what bonds are and we know what savings bonds are, but let's take a gander on what they got to say here. Now, <clears throat> for those playing the home game, we are on uh, treasurydirect.gov. This particular section is under the Research Center. Okay? Um, did you know that if you own save it, paper savings bonds, you can trade them in for electronic bonds and using Treasury Direct in a program called Smart Exchange. All right, Smart Exchange allows you to uh, Treasury to allow Treasury Direct account owners to convert their Series E, Double E, um, I, and other electronic securities. Electronic securities. See what they did there? See what? You feeling me? All right. So if you have electronic securities. Um, in a special conversion linked account with their online account with a Treasury Direct account. Okay? You can enjoy all the benefits of having online 24 hour access to manage your holdings without having to keep track of your paper securities. Okay. Let's go on. Stop. If you want to cash in or redeem your savings bonds and you have them in hand, you do not need the Treasury Direct um, account. It's quicker and easier to take your savings bonds to your local financial institution and cash them in there. Now I'm going to do a video for those people who, um, it's going to be along the same lines. Let's say your parents have died and you've got these old bonds and papers that you don't know what they're worth. Well I showed you guys how to look them up, those bonds, and see what they're worth. And now you know if you want to redeem them, you don't have to go through the Treasury Direct. If you've got the paper ones in hand, you can just take them to the bank and get them done. Get them done up, sir. All right. So, um, or here's another option. Fill out the FS form 1522, which we talked about on another video, but, oh, wait, you guys haven't seen that one yet because I haven't uploaded yet because I'm still filming. So never mind. Okay. But anyway, form 1522. Um, and as always, guys, make sure you guys go to the Bad Wolf main page or the James C. Lovett YouTube main account page and search the videos there. Go, you can go through them in chronological order to you know see the whole progression of, of everything that leads you up to here. Um, because YouTube will not typically show you all of the videos. If you keep me as a favorite, then yeah, it'll, it'll, my videos will continuously pop up or notifications, obviously. But uh, in general, if you want to see the rest of the videos, don't wait around for them. Go and get them for yourself. That's how you do it. All right, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, so you can download that form here, or you can order it. Follow the instructions, mail it to us with your bond, and we'll process your paperwork. You'll deposit your money right into your bank account. All right? Uh, if the bond owner is deceased, please see our webpage, Death of a Savings Bond um, owner which I'm going to make a video for that too so if you haven't seen that you happen to see this one first that video has been made and it's already uploaded but it's, once again it's on James C. Lovett YouTube or youtube.com forward slash James C. Lovett altogether the main page so let's just get back to the thing alright so who's eligible okay if you are a Treasury Direct account owner you can exchange your paperwork exchange paper savings bonds on which you are the sole owner a co-owner um, or owner with a beneficiary. As the account owner, you can also convert the paper savings bonds into, into purchase gifts 
um, for someone else, or bonds you have obtained through inheritance or other change in ownership. Account managers for certain entities, uh, trusts, estates, corporations uh, may use as well, blah, blah, blah. And let's see what kind of time we got here. Eh, we're about halfway in. Okay, so why should you use Smart Exchange? Well, you can cash your electronic bonds in full or in part anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and deposit the funds into your savings or checking account that you specify. You do not need a financial institution, and there are no restrictions on the number of bonds or value that can be cashed in at one time. All right. Um, as long as the minimum requirements are met, you know, it's whatever they are. Um, online holdings and current values can be viewed at any time. You don't need to worry about your paper securities, which we already told you about. So here they're saying if they've been accidentally lost or destroyed, you can check them out. Okay, so that, I mean, we already did the video. I think we did two of those. So if you guys don't know how much money they're holding or that those bonds and accounts are holding, you're not following all of the videos. Okay? A little dark in here. Yeah. I'm going to go turn, turn my extra light on and see if it helps any. Uh, oh, yeah, that's better. Why don't you guys tell me the light was so dark in here? Well, you see the Batman, you know, window curtain thing so apparently else Batman mm. all right let's go on so you can change the bond registration or transfer the securities to another account at any time um, some transfers may be a taxable event most likely they're not unless you've done something US citizeny and remember guys that being said this channel is for only US nationals non-citizen nationals not trolls, not U.S. citizens, not people, not not Caesar U.S. citizens, but those people are U.S. nationals, know themselves to be, or are trying to be. So that being said, no rights are given to anybody who's against this establishment should be using this material. It is copyrighted and protected. <clears throat> I scoff at thee. <laughs> okay, let's go. When the electronic bonds reach final maturity, which is one of the things we talked about before, if, you, if the bonds have not matured to the part in place and time where they are uh, redeemable, cashable, uh, you can't do them. That's why I tell people, be careful on what you're getting and looking at and doing. So when you do look them up, remember, you have to get the QCIP number off the back or use the uh, converter on here to get the QCIP, which will then give you a... Um, the actual trading number, once you get that trading number and you click on it, it'll bring up a screen. On the bottom of the screen, it'll tell you when it matures, all that good stuff. And if it doesn't, you call the number at the bottom, and that will direct you to an account agent who can then tell you more information about that. So don't do anything silly. But to those people who've already reached out to me, who've already begun this process, they're like, well, Wolf, you haven't done it. La, la, la. Because I don't really care. I'm about the knowledge. But... For those people who have done it, good job for you guys. Um, feel free to send me some money. I'll, I'll tell you. you know, I can say no. Um, and eventually, I might get around to it. I just I'm not in a position where I, I I'm going to sweat that. Okay. Um, but good for you guys who've done it. And if you guys, I know some of you guys have already begun telling me your experiences. And what we'll do is we'll probably make some videos on the experiences. I'm not going to cover the amounts people have gotten. That's private. Um, and uh, this is just to help people retrieve their bonds and other securities and things that they've owned so uh once the information comes in uh, those people who will, will privy me to it i will help you guys step through it as well um remember here we are non belligerents non combatants and pd uh treat peace treaty with the united states okay so we are neutral but we're allies all right so this is educational information only as everything on my channel so none of this should be used in any type of negative ways all right uh no consent is ever given on that only for people who are using it for positive educational information to help fellow people and not to bash people by calling them sovereign citizens because we're not. The Department of State refers to us as non-U.S. Uh, non-citizen U.S. nationals. Remember that. All right. So that being said, and are no longer earning interest, they will be paid automatically. But the problem is, is that they don't do a really good job of finding the people when those bonds are ready. Because people have moved, people have died, people have changed. 
names, sex, please, um, or whatever else. <laughs> so they're not going to find you. You have to find them. So it does not hurt to actually send a letter to the uh, Treasury Direct and say, this is my name, this is my information, this is my mom's name, my dad's name. Um, do you have any bonds, any securities, any whatever that have matured that are in their name? I would like to claim them before they can be uh, claimed by somebody else as abandoned funds. Um, please let me know that information. G put grandma on there too. Yep. Grandma, my head. grandpa, if you know their names, put it all in that paper. Send it off. Okay? Don't say the bad wolf they ain't doing nothing for you. All right. So once that's done, <clears throat> oh, and the proceeds deposited to your 0% C or I in your primary account. So set up an account with these guys. Put at least a 20 or 50 bucks in there just to hold an account with them. Um, and then it says, you can use all or some of the proceeds to purchase new securities or cash the C of I to your bank account in full or in part. And then down here, how do you use Smart Exchange? So I'll open the online application, manage my linked accounts, convert my paper bonds. There you guys go. Wham, bam, and thank you, ma'am. All right. So that's it, guys. Brought you some fire. That launch been a fire, 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 hot, hot, too hot. Space balls for anybody? No? All right, never mind. Um, that's it, though. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit that bell, like, subscribe, and away out. And keep an eye out for the bad wolf out there. And make sure you guys tell your friends and family about this information if you found it interesting. And to those people who haven't subscribed, I'm going to make a video to ask you to subscribe. Because that's what YouTube tells me. Long live YouTube. And the Queen. And the United States Empire. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.